Okay, tell me why I filmed this video and I'm refilming it now. You're probably like, why are you doing that? Well, I didn't like it before, and when I don't like something, I'm not gonna upload it. Anyways, so re. Ew, ew. Anyways, um, so I'm re filming this video. Anyways, so this video is about why I'm on ankle monitor, and I'm going to attempt to show you, which is. Okay, anyways, so, uh, <laughs> I could just went like this, but, oh, no, that's not even easy. Okay, anyways, so, yeah, this thing is on my ankle forever. You guys are probably wondering why this is on my ankle. Um, I don't really know. I don't be doing anything. I don't do anything. I'm a child of God, so I don't know. Yeah. I tell all of you, I know this is on my leg. Um, I have two videos, I have... I have two videos on why it's on my leg. So that's the fighting one where she didn't fight back and the one where I got arrested. So that's, if you want more details of two of the reasons why I have this on my leg, then just watch those videos. And the last reason is because I threatened someone, but I didn't threaten her. She lied. She lied. I promise you I put that on my dead grandma. I didn't say nothing to that. Oof. Oof. Anyways, she lied and said, I said, she lied and said that I said that I was going to kill her. I think I said that right. Anyways, she said I was going to kill her. And I never said I was going to kill her. Like, why would I tell someone I'm going to kill you? Like, and why would I tell an op I'm going to kill you? Like, that, that'd be so stupid. That, that'd be retarded. But, yeah, I'm going to answer all the questions that people have about this thingy since people don't get it. So, I'm just going to explain. Um, The first question that people would, I, the people ask, no, I, I can't take this off. This cannot come off my leg until they take it off. So no, this this can't this can't come off my leg. Can't take it off. Not even for a second. If I cut it off, I go to jail. If it dies, I go to jail. I don't know if it's waterproof. I just leave my leg out the shower too. I'm too scared to try because I don't want it to like get messed up. Because if it messed up, then I'm going to jail. <laughs> You're probably like, how do you get your clothes on in the morning? I'm gonna show you something right quick. Hold up. So these are the jeans that they. So I was wearing this when they put this on my leg. Anyways, so. You know how these jeans are like really skinny, you know? And this is like really, ouch, fuck. Uh, this is like really fat or whatever. Like this is like fatter than my leg, duh. Anyways, so obviously it's not going to work out. So this thing cannot go over the thing that's on my leg. It's a tiny hole, like come on now. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the leg that I had. Had it on, so I had to cut my jeans off to take my jeans off. I I didn't I, re, I like. Oh, it's it's a shame. Like I didn't want this to happen, but I had to cut my jeans off to take my jeans off. Ha! Huh, that was funny. Huh. Hey, about the court experience because that was like stupid and like when I went to the place to go get it on. So, anyways, so I went to court. Anyways, so I went to court, and before me, before I went in there, there was this really, 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 really cute guy, like, who went before me. You're probably like, okay, me, what does that have to do with the story? It has a lot to do with the story. Not a lot, but, you know, a little bit. Anyway, so this really, really cute guy who went before me. And boy, when I saw him, like, I was, like, turning a corner to go to the place where I have to go to court, where, like, you know, the court room is. And, like, he looked up, I was like, what the, who are you? Nah, I wasn't really all like that, but I was just saying, like, I mean, he's cute or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so, he went before me. And then he came out. He looked all... That's big, I think. He looked all happy and stuff. I don't know what he found out. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. But, phew, he was happy. I was like, what the fuck? I, I wish I was that happy. I wish I didn't have to be here right now. I wish I could be somewhere else. Whatever. Anyway, so I went in there. And they're telling me. They're sitting there. This bald guy is, like, telling her that I need to be locked up and stuff. And I'm there, like... You need to go grow some hair. That's what you need to do. And then the judge, you know, she's over here being an op over here. She's like, I think she was about to lock me up. But she didn't do it, obviously, because I'm still here filming a video. Couldn't do that in jail. But anyways, so my attorney, by the sounds of it, it sounded like she was going to lock me up. And my attorney, like, looked to me, which wasn't really my attorney. She was filling in for the guy who was my attorney. Anyways, so she looked at me. She was like, I'm sorry, Minnie. You're, you're probably going to get locked up. I'm like, oh, wow. Thanks for being positive. Thank you for really defending me. Thanks. Wow, that's... You did a great job. Wow, thanks. Anyways, um... 
I'm like, oh, wow, well, I'm about to get locked up. But before we went in there, my mom gave me a little cross. So I was, like, holding on to that. I'm like, guy, please don't lock me up. Like, I have a lot of do. A lot of do. A lot of do. A lot of what? A lot of do-do? Anyways, sorry, that was childish. Anyways, I was like, I have a lot of things to do, which I don't. Because I can't really do a lot of things because I'm on house arrest. I don't want to get locked up. With the, what the heck? I, <laughs> what? Anyways, so... Like, you know, I guess he was just like, Minnie, I got you. But, you know, that judge was still being an op over here. Like, she was, like, if you wanted to lock me up, like, I don't know. But, I don't know. She was just like, I'm going to give you one more chance, Minnie. I'm going to take the PO suggestions, whatever, the blah, 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 the, 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 the. And then she was just like, oh, I'm going to take their suggestion and pitch you on house arrest. And um, they didn't tell me how long I'm going to be on it. I have another court date on the 3rd of next month. So that's really stupid. This is just detention. Um, so I don't know how long I'm on this. Um, oh, yeah. So, you know, all that's over. I'm not locked up. She's being an op, saying all this op stuff that I don't care about. <sighs> Telling me she's going to give me one more chance. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you a chance not to be ugly. But whatever. Anyway, so we have to go to the juvenile hall place to go get the ankle monitor. So we go in there. Me and my dad go in there. And the people give them the wrong paperwork. They give, you know, the cute guy that I saw, they gave me his paperwork. How do you, you have one job, one job, and you couldn't even do that right. How you mess up? How you give me the wrong papers? Do I look like I should do I don't even know what the fuck his name was. It was like Shadad, something like that. I, should, I don't even fucking know, but his name was something like that. And I was just like, do I look like that? I'm pretty sure my name was Minnie, but last time I checked, but whatever. I mean, I guess. I stupid ass brother went to go take a shower and just run like my video. Then now I have to re record a part of this video. Oh my gosh, so stupid. But, anyways, so yeah, we're in there. Um, What did I say? Uh, da da da. Oh, yeah, do I look like a, I'm pretty sure my name is Minnie, whatever. Ta -da. So, then, um, the guy has to pretty much fax over, fax over my, um, paperwork. And then, um, then he comes out with the little, uh, stuff, like the little ankle monitor, and he puts it on my leg. And then, yep, that's pretty much it. We, uh, go get Burger King and to celebrate that I can get locked up. We get chicken nuggets and fries and a root beer float, which I left in my mom's car. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I got this thing on. Can't do nothing. I can't be late to class. Can't have any unscused absences. Abs don't know how to say that word. Okay. Anyways, um, I can't really get in trouble. I can't get in trouble at all. Actually, I can't do nothing. Can't sleep. Can't eat. Can't do nothing. Just play. I could do that, but whatever. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Can't do nothing. Just stay in my house and go to school. Be a child of God, but I'm always a child of God, so no shame there. But, um, also, one more question that people wonder, I think, or people ask me, wait, did... Oh, they're asking how, like, it feels. Like, it feels like, like, get your leg and then put your, wrap your, your, uh, your hands around your leg, like your ankle. That's what it feels like, except with a little thing connected to it. Actually, no, it's more annoying than that. Actually, it's not. It's This thing is just weird. It's just annoying. It's just like, it's just stupid. It just feels like a little, some, like a little something, like a little animal or something just hugging your leg. But there's no fur on it, so it feels like that. It feels, I don't know, it's really annoying and hard, so... Anyways, um, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be a story time because things are always happening to me. Well, things aren't always happening to me. I'm always doing something, I guess. Yeah. Go watch my other videos because those are nice videos and deuces.